Sunday night, we have a really neat thing to see in the night sky, and this is the super flower blood moon. It's a super moon because the moon's orbit is actually reaching its point closest to Earth, so it's going to appear a little bigger and a little brighter in the night sky. It's the flower moon. It's the name of the full moon for May, and it's a blood moon because we have a lunar eclipse, and we're going to experience totality. We're going to see totality here in Kansas City, where the moon is going to turn a bright Bright shade of red or orange for the uh, for a few hours, actually an hour and a half worth of this blood moon. So what happens is this moon passes behind the Earth and it enters the Earth's shadow. Uh, so it's going to re reflect some of that sunlight through the Earth's atmosphere and then cast a red shadow on the moon. This is all going to begin at 8:30 in the evening. While we can see this from your home, from your backyard, Union Station is inviting you to see this blood moon in a unique way. Union Station gets to help Kansas City see a spectacular sight in the night sky coming up Sunday night. And you all can come down to Union Station to spot the total lunar eclipse. And here to lead it all is Patrick Hess. He's the planetarium manager here at Union Station to kind of share what folks can see if they want to notice the total lunar eclipse through your telescope. Yeah. What would people notice? Well, we're so excited to have everybody come out. We'll be set up right in front of Union Station with the telescope and we'll be watching watching a lunar eclipse, which is when the moon is going to pass into the shadow of the Earth. And there's a lot of cool things that happen, but uh, the biggest thing is people have probably heard it's going to be a blood moon, or the moon is going to turn blood red uh, for about an hour and a half. So we're excited for this. Okay, yeah. so what time should people set up, take a look, and how long maybe should they stay? Yeah, so starting at about 8.30 p.m. is going to be when uh, the moon starts to move into the shadow of the Earth, and we'll be able to see some shadows on it and while we'll the telescope's set up then. And then at 10.30 p.m., that's when the blood moon starts, and that'll last about an hour and a half, and then uh, around midnight, the moon will start passing out of the shadow. Wow. So, so a lot of time. So yeah. we will be out there, or you will be out there, mm -hmm. for a good while Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, so we encourage people to stop by and check it out. Um, we'll have the telescope set up for free for people to, to look through. And this is a pretty rare event. We don't get these all the time, right? It is, so, yeah. Um, hoping that the weather stays good, hoping that the skies stay clear. If they don't, mm -hmm. when would be the next chance to yeah. see a lunar eclipse? So eclipses uh, happen twice a year, solar and lunar eclipses. The trick is you got to be in the right place at the right time. A lot of them are over the Earth's oceans because a lot of the Earth is ocean. Uh, so the next uh, lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse, or blood moon, we're lucky is actually going to be in November this year. Oh. Um, but there won't be another one we'll see here in Kansas City until 2025. So it is a bit rare, and we definitely want hope that uh, the weather holds out for this one. Okay. Um, um, yeah, it's been a little while. It's been a few years since we've got, got one here in Kansas City. We so. will do our best. Hopefully yeah. the skies stay clear and folks can come out starting at 830 and maybe mm -hmm. stick around until midnight. Yep, and if they come see us or if they miss us, then we just encourage them to come back to the planetarium and see one of our live star tours where they can watch uh, the eclipse here. Good place to go in the hot summer days for sure. Indeed. All right, Patrick, thank you so much. Kansas City, keep your eyes up Sunday night to see this really cool rare event.